Hello everyone, my name is Christian Negulescu and today I will present you a connector from, for NetSuite. So from your iPad Go, right connector from NetSuite and download this connector and then install it on Studio. Also, on your iPad Studio, if you have the Go feed, you will search for NetSuite and you'll find your iPad in NetSuite activities. Good. So after you install the connector on the uh, UiPad team NetSuite, you'll find around 25 activities that allow you to work with customers, employees, journal, sales order, vendors, and so on. You will be able to add, delete, get the same thing like the Salesforce and ServiceNow connector. So what you'll do? First, you'll drag and drop on NetSuite application scope. The connection to NetSuite, it's a SOAP connection. So you'll, you'll see a video on the, you, you, my YouTube where how to configure the NetSuite to work with uh, UiPath. So here you'll put all the values. Let's go further and let's see uh, here, after I complete all the values, I'm able to test the connection with NetSuite. Yeah? So after I test the connection with NetSuite, I will have a response. And then I want to add, for example, a vendor. Yeah? If I want to add a vendor, for a vendor, I will just drag and drop an add vendor, like this. And similar with what you have for Salesforce, you can get an example. So the system is able to go to NetSuite and give you the details on what fields you need to put for a vendor. To be able to define a vendor in, uh, in NetSuite, you will need a company name. So what I will do, I'll write company, and I will double click, and I'll put company name, and I'll say test video test video and also from my experience you need a subsidiary so on the subsidiary here you will want an internal id and here it's an it's an id that i have to provide so um, uh, to solve this problem to be much easy for a business user we have the same features that we have in Salesforce and ServiceNow. So you have here a get uh, internal id so let's let it like this and we have an activity that is go, um, we call get internal ID. You will select here on the object that you want a subsidiary. You will say that your name, it's in my case, it's UiPath Inc. And he will provide me an internal ID. Yeah. So in this way, I will get my internal ID from my string. So I will go here and I will say internal ID. Okay. So if I run this, I will be able to, um, so after I run this, if I will take a look in NetSuite, you'll see that I have a new vendor that is test video and subsidiary, it's UiPath. Okay, let's get some data, yeah? So you have uh, get data for each element. In here, let's take get employee, yeah? And let's see how, how this is working. So basically the system will be able to fill all the, all the objects and you will know what uh, type of object you have if you have date if you have uh, strings so he will know the decision based on the type of object let's do this Let, let's search for for the name yeah let's search for the first name and the first name should contain alex yeah so if i run it like this the system will provide me a list with all the internal ids of uh, people that um, have in the name alex and to be sure that um, uh, I can configure my report how I want, so I can go and double click and say, let's say, I want to see the first name in the salutation, yeah? So you see, we have a lot of people that has Alex in the name, so the first name is Alex. So I can configure here from the, uh, from the, third, uh, the third tab, I can configure what I want to see about, uh, um, uh, about uh, my search. So I can choose everything from here, also the custom um, elements and so on. So in this way, you will be able to concatenate this uh, uh, this uh, this function. So you can put multiple condition with add or delete, or you can uh, select multiple decision and you have different decision for string, different decision for uh, uh, for um, date. You can put date between something and something. You have the version of between. Then you'll hit save. And here you will have an edit parameter. So for everything that you select as a condition, you put a value as a string, but you as an RPA developer, you will want to put there a variable. So here on the parameter, you will be able to put a variable. You will put the, by, by default the string that you put on the, uh, on the window. And then here you can put what variable you want. This function will return you a data table and you have the result, the response from the server. And you have also the, the thing that it's valid or not. 
Good. There are also some general, so like I said, you can work with customers, um, uh, employee. You will see that I have a full video how to create a sales order, which is not so easy. Uh, here you can work with uh, general, with all the items that you have in your uh, um, in your service now, or in your NetSuite, sorry. And uh, then you can work also with transaction. With transaction, the, 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 the window is a little more complex. Because, you know, in uh, in NetSuite, you can have multiple types of transactions. So you can select the type of transaction. For example, I want to see deposit. Yeah, and I want, I will, I will be able to extract all the uh, the values from uh, deposit. And again, he will give me the internal ID, and after this, I will be able to configure everything that I want. If it's a deposit, if I want uh, something else estimate and so on again he will know the object and he will provide you all all these features so what's the idea this is a prototype it's uh, it's tested and it's working with these objects please try it download from your ipad go try it then come back to me with feedback to understand what else i need to uh, um, to implement on the on this connector to be sure that i will cover all your uh, requests yeah for the other videos because i say that i have other so for other videos, please follow me on the YouTube channel on Christian Negulescu. In here, you'll find the videos how to configure NetSuite to work with um, uh, with uh, your iPad. Also, how to to create sales order with sales item, and so on. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one, and remember to give me feedback on this stuff. Bye bye. Have a good one.